and I am her brother, and she is my sister. Now, this is my story. I'll grab at any motherfucking thing that moves. Let me prove it. You'll see what I can do, how good I am. No one believes it's a skill. The fucking depths I've sunk to, to be first, to be the best. And my logical way of seeing it, it's beautiful. I make more money than you because I pushed that old lady into the street. Don't look at me like that. You'll shit yourself trying to figure me out. How and why I ate my unborn twin. Why the nuns at the orphanage fed me trash. And in the summer, they made me sleep in the dumpsters. When I take a shit, I never shit without the Bible. <laughs> I'm not particularly religious. I'm not a particularly religious person. But the good book is a perfect fit for my overbite and the perfect fit for the anti-anesthetic paradigm that I ascribe to. The people who pray daily and never consider themselves the slaves or the elves or the better halves, you wondering, like, you're about to bust a couple of nuts. Okay, it's not a secret phrase that'll get us into some magical kingdom on the other side of your fucking walls. Perforated rectum, can you say it? Say it with me, perforated rectum. In France, the cops stuck a billy club 10 centimeters up this kid's asshole and they said it was a procedural accident. In situ. In situ. That was no accident. It seems like every time something is immortalized on film, the actual power of it as a tool of reality has been diminished, if not incapacitated. You can rape a human with many a thing. You can rape a human mind with everything. I was only 14. Now I am negative 15. <laughs> Do the math. Do the math. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because I've been twisted to believe my shallow soul, shallow with four motherfucking L's, y'all took on the timeline of some far away planet in the heavenly and the heavily populated galaxy called evil. Boom. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm laughing all over the video to be Ain't nobody even gonna hear you on the video because I'm smuggling laughs and shit. <laughs> okay, this is another one. I'm not a negative person, but let's go like this. I'll try not to. This is called Hey Boy. Try my singing voice. <clears throat> Brent. Hey boy, don't you know you're gonna die one day? Somewhere, somehow, in some way. Hey girl, don't you know you're gonna die one day? Somewhere, somehow, in some way. Yeah. Well, the question is, am I? How do you know that? I'm here, ain't I? Living and breathing just like them. So, so are you, but so what? What gives you the right to jump inside my life? Do I look like a fucking taxi to you? <laughs> Is this a transatlantic flight where you get to sit on my spine and dine on wine in a fucking movie? Nah, nah, nah. I used to yell this, scream this, but be this way with all the good people from my neighborhood. A mad teenage capital of invective and derision, claiming all authority over every wound of my person. Prepubescent anger lives within walls in the neck, fueled by the jugular siphon, our siren till adulthood. I've seen the red elephants cry and scarlet fevers moan. A cherry bomb burp on July four nights and bricks of our tenements never say a peep. But blood, only blood, can scream. It is made of salt and the last found pennies. 20% ignorance, 20% diffidence, and 60% rage. I used to show this, throw this out like background radiation, like the coil towers in the middle distance. Invisible things, strings that make our microwaves work, that make our father out of it. He came one day, no energy, 
to ball his fists. No energy to play ball. No energy to ball his eyes out, to ball my mother, to play ball in the yard, to have a ball one day. He came home with no balls at all. They were shriveled under his thermos and his lunchbox. Whatever cathodes and transistors make a man be a man would never work again. I used to know this like the vendetta of my wettest dreams. Sex and spirally monsters soaked in sweat bullies in the rusty antennas through the eye. Left or right, I really didn't give a fuck. Through the light years of these high school years, I managed a diploma. I was never coming back and I was only 18. But was I, was I happy? Hey boy, my father used to say, don't you know you're gonna die one day? And he used to turn to my little sister and say, hey girl, don't you know you're gonna die one day? Don't you know you're gonna die one day? He said, hey y'all, I think I'm gonna die one day. Right here, right now. And right away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you one more. Nice. 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 I hope the phone don't die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one I wanted to do. I really love this one. Okay, this is new. So this is a love poem. Okay, this is a love poem. This is called, And Then. And then I knocked and entered and said, Hello, dear, and kissed her slower. And then we talked about every single subject except. And then I tore off the packaging and put it on my dick and entered and swam in her sweat the fine down the wrong choice and then I came and then she came two times but I know it was three <laughs> Again. Serious, yes it is, arguing, him again, returning, like a, like a boomerang. And then, how could you do such a thing? Him touch, and then, my lunch comes up in a rush, and it's the way it is. And then, I'm crushed and wither and dead and blistered and I won't and I won't ever forget when I, where I, how much I loved her. Thank you. Mom.